Hello and welcome to the next video. In this video we'll take a look at how to take a weapon from player unknown battlegrounds and then render them using Photoshop or 3ds Max or whatever you want to do with them basically. For this you will need three things. You will need the U model, you will need the PSKX plugin for Blender and of course Blender. So to get this started you have to navigate to where your game is so for me it would be local disk E, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, PUBG and inside this folder you will have to extract the U model, SDL2, DLL and well that's not important but these two files have to be, they don't have to be here but they should be here. So once you got that you can just run the U model.exe and path the game files you just go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, PUBG. You don't go further into the game directories. Press on the override game detection and go to Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 4.14. Uh, from here you can deselect skeletal mesh, animations and light maps. You only need the textures and static meshes. For platform of course choose PC and that is about it here. Once this window opens, uh, scroll down to the weapon. Uh, let's take a look at Heckler & Koch 416. And if I double click here, there we go. Now we have our weapon right here in the view. Uh, as you can see, this is the M416. Everything about it is like in the game. Now we want to export this. So press O here so you can open this window again. And once you have HK416.01 selected, press the export button. This might take a few seconds or less, as you can see, to plus. And now you can close the U model and that's about it. Uh, inside this PUBG directory, a new folder will show up called U model export. From here you can open up the weapon, rifles, Heckler and Koch, meshes, and here you have the PSKX file. Now, when you have that, uh, I'm just gonna move this entire folder to desktop since I don't need it here and I will start Blender okay we have the Blender opened I'm gonna delete this view model delete the camera delete this so we just have an empty scene as you can see and now first things first we have to load up the plugin so we have to go to user preferences add-ons now I already have it here, but if you didn't, you would have to go install from file, then navigate to the directory where this uh, where this file is, so IO import scene Unreal PSKX. And so once you have that opened, you just have to go to user and click this checkbox. And now when you close this, you can go to file, import, static mesh and now you have to navigate to the folder so let's go one folder up let's go to desktop we call this U model export weapon rifles meshes and double click the file and as you can see we have our weapon here but there are no textures so to fix that we'll have to use Photoshop so go to file export and export it as an object file and save it in now again let's put it in the same folder desktop you model export weapon rifle meshes I'm just gonna rename it HK 41601 oh too many 416 export object okay now this is exported you can close blender and start Photoshop now that we have Photoshop open you can navigate to the same folder so it was again you model export weapon rifles HK meshes and now here we have the object file just drag and drop it into Photoshop switch this to inches and press OK
and there you go there's the weapon but as you can see it's missing the texture so double click here to diffuse texture and here's the texture with the UV maps already on it so from here you can just go back a few folders go to assets no weapon oh right texture and the D diffuse texture is which one the one we need just drag and drop it press OK save it and once you close this you will see weapon now has proper textures we can also change the light if we want and also we can click on 3D and PSK mat 0 scroll down and add a normal map as well so again same folder uh, new model export weapon rifles textures and and there we go you can change a few settings here but that's not really important as you can see most of them except reflection don't really do much okay so basically if I were now to scroll up I can press here switch to top scene perspective zoom out maybe I should first rotate the object for 90 degrees let's try it like this okay 90 degrees now we have the weapon in place let's see what the image size the well, camera size was okay let's change this to 10 1092 across 1080 we can zoom out a bit and dolly the 3d camera inside the weapon view let's actually rotate it a bit for the effect and pan the camera so the whole weapon fits inside this should be okay now from here we can just go to file export quick export as png just to test it out i'm going to go on desktop save and if i go here well the texture don't look too great because of the shadows in Photoshop so let's try disabling that and again export quick export as PNG save yes and now if we open it the shadow issue should be fixed and wow there it is of course it's just transparent as well so I don't know let's make a new file here just for the test if I drag and drop it here as you can see if I add a new layer below it I can paint and everything works pretty much fine so, okay so let's close this as I can said you can export it and do whatever you want with it check it from different views as you can see it even glows nicely of course the normal map is a bit bugged but yeah that's basically it that's how you can export a weapon from PUBG and use it for renders and whatnot if you need like custom textures this is the way to go. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something new and I'm expecting to see some new cool renders. Have fun!